Hey guys, it's time for another reading Wednesday. So I read Molokai, Molokai, um, by Alan Brennert, and there you can see the name Molokai. I'm not sure how to really pronounce it. Um, or the names actually because it's Hawaiian. Um. So it says, Rachel Kalama, a spirited seven-year-old girl, um, dreams of visiting far-off lands like her father, a merchant seaman. Then one day, a rose-colored mark appears on her skin and those dreams are stolen from her. Taken from her home and family, Rachel is sent to Kulapapa? Wait, another name, I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, the quarantine, the <laughs> leprosy, leprosy settlement on the island of Molokai. Her life is supposed to end, but instead she discovers it's just beginning. For me, with warmth, humor, compassion, and vibrant cast of vividly realized characters, Molokai is a masterpiece of storytelling about people who embrace life in the face of death. Amazing book. Um, it even got in the back, like, um, reading group gold selection so it tells you like about the author history and then keep on thinking so it like talks about it and then it's got like questions and stuff to like make you think so I guess kids would read this in school um oh so he made a second one Honolulu well I have to go get that one now um really really brilliant um book. I'm not a big fan on books like these because I find them either kind of boring or they turn out to be really depressing. Um which it kind of was at first but it was really really interesting to read. Um this is probably one of like my new favorite books. Um there's like several stories of people intertwined um, like, it starts out with Rachel, the little girl, and then it, like, goes into, like, one of the nuns that's there, and her story, and then, like, um, people that come to the island to get treatment, and their story, and, like, some people die, some people live, um, I think the ending was really great, he closed it out really well, because sometimes they just, authors will leave you hanging with books like these, and he didn't, he, um, he really did with these. Oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I heard of leprosy or leprosy before. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I've heard of it before. Um, just, I don't even remember where I heard it. I think I was reading something for like history class and they were talking about like illnesses and stuff like way back when so like you know like bubonic plague and all that stuff and that's where i heard it from but this really goes into like detail of like what happens when you get it um and not like to scare you like it tells you just like you know you get the sores and the red marks on the skin and all that stuff and it took a while for them to find a cure but they didn't really have a cure for it, they just had cures, like it worked for a little while and then it stopped. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend everybody read this, it's really a great book. Bye guys!